time for another top five. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. Yes, that's right. The Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today, I'm going to tell you about my top five Power Director tools. That's right. I said my top five Power Director tools based off of my own opinion. If there are any tools that you feel I left out of the top five, please feel free to leave those tools in the comment section below. So let's jump off into this top five and make it happen. Coming in at number five, we have Express Projects. Express Projects is a tool that lets you quickly and easily create videos while learning how to use the tools that you're going to use later in a full feature editor. Express Projects are exactly what they say they are. They're projects. They're actually preset projects that create little templates that allow you to add your pictures, audio, and video to create a professional video. Using the Express Projects is really easy. It's really two simple steps. You drag in the templates, which are the opening or middle or ending of a video, and then they create placeholders. And then with those placeholders, what you do is you add your own media so that you can create your video. Once you have the placeholders in place, you can experiment with what videos or pictures you want to add. You can adjust the templates however you like, and you can make it all your own. Express projects are really great for beginners because it lets them complete a project by adding their own media and learning how to use multi-tracks, learning how to overlay items, use a titler, all of that good stuff in one simple, easy to use project. There are a bunch of Express projects that are available for download from the Cyberlink Director Zone. Things like Action, Extreme, Wedding, Anniversary, and more. Powering in at number four, we have the Action Camera Center. The Action Camera Center is a powerful toolkit that's full of a bunch of useful features. It has tools for stop motion, pan and zoom, speed, freeze frame, fisheye correction, stabilization, and more. Fisheye and stabilization are tools that are usually found in outside applications, so these are welcome additions to PowerDirector. They do a great job of smoothing out the video and also removing any distortion. The replay, freeze frame, and speed tools offer a wealth of possibilities with any of your videos. Utilizing these things to speed up, slow down, or stop your video creates fantastic effects that your viewers are going to really, really enjoy. Moving in at number three is motion tracking. Motion tracking allows you to isolate a moving object or person and then apply an object, text, or an effect to follow that person or that object throughout the video. Motion tracking is a simple three-step process. First, you position a tracking box around the item that you want to track. After that, you go ahead and select the item that you want to track or follow the object. Then, you click on the track button to analyze the video. Once you're done, you will have created a unique effect that's going to add a lot of professionalism to your project. Doing the do at number two is the Multicam Designer. The Multicam Designer allows you to combine and switch multiple camera angles in one video. This is a useful tool for events that have been recorded on multiple devices. You can synchronize your clips by audio, time code, time to file was created, by markers, or manually. The program lets you select which audio track to use from your video clips, or you can actually import a separate audio track and sync all the video clips to that. After everything's synced up, you get to select which clips are going to play at what time during the video. Once you're done, that entire clip sequence appears on your timeline as a single video clip. Now, if you need to make any adjustments to it, all you got to do is double click it to enter back into the multicam designer. Last but not least, coming in at number one is the PIP designer. The PIP designer allows you to modify videos in multiple ways. I use it on almost every video that I make. You can use it to scale items, position items, uh, overlay items on the screen, add transparency, animate items across the screen. There are so many uses for this tool, it had to be my number one pick. And the PIP Designer has other tools in it, such as the Chroma Keyer, which lets you remove the background from a video and add any background to change your environment. All right, guys, so that was my top five Power Director tools. Once again, if you have a different top five, list those in the comment section below. Or if you think there's something that I left off, 
list that in the comment section below as well. Now, before we close things out, I want to give a shout out to one of our subscribers, Fan Kitty. Fan Kitty makes fan edit videos of Dan and Phil videos. So, head on over to his channel, take a look at some of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Fan Kitty did, make sure that you go to the video description and click on the shout out request form. Also, if you want to make any tutorial requests, please go to the description and fill out the tutorial request form, and then I will make a decision on whether or not I'll make that tutorial for you. Now I've got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. Let's people know that the content in this video was good and that they should watch it too. Comments, questions, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And then after you do that, make sure you click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.